Peach makeup looks have been all over this year. Welcome back to another episode of Live from LA. It's Nikki. I'm Nikki DeRoost, artist in residence with Bobbi Brown. And this month, I'm going to show you how I created this peachy makeup look. Peach makeup looks have been all over this year. I love peach tones because they can be really flattering across all skin tones. So I already have my complexion ready so I can go straight into the hero product for this look, which is the blush. So I'm going to use Bobbi Brown's blush in the shade Clementine. You can really pop it, but you can also keep it really soft if you want more of a diffused peach look. This all really comes down to what type of brush that you use to apply your blush. So I'm going to show you two options that I have here. I have the sheer powder brush and I have the blush brush. So what you'll notice straight away is this is a little bit lighter. It's not as dense with the bristles and the blush brush is a little bit more dense. So this is going to apply my blush a little bit softer and more diffused, and this will give me more pigment and color payoff with the blush brush. I'm going to use the sheer powder brush because I want to kind of paint it on like watercolor. So very simple, I'm just going to tap this into the blush. You can see the product there. You can kind of tap it off if you're a little nervous about how much is going to go on. And then I'm just starting on the apple of my cheek and gently pressing that into the skin. So you can see you can have control with your blush if you want a soft look, but we can also layer it on and get the color payoff that you desire. So I think what we're seeing with blush trends is going a little bit higher up the cheekbone and kind of letting it be warm and diffused and lived in on the skin. So you can even take what's remaining on your brush and kind of softly diffuse and press that into your temple as well. So this is with the blush and this is without. So you can see how adding just a little bit of that blush really brightens my complexion and gives me this really fresh look. I love this product because it goes on smoothly for a seamless matte finish. The shades of the blush have actually been designed to mimic naturally flushed cheeks. So next I'm going to bring some warmth and peach tones to my eyes. So I chose the Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in the shade Sand Dune. So this is just a nice warm brown and I think it will really complement the look and the shade of my blush. So I'm actually going to take this and just apply it directly on to my lids and then you can just take your finger and blend it in. So you can see how that simply warmed up my eyelids and it was so easy to apply directly with the stick and blending with my fingers. Now, if you're not comfortable with using your fingers, you can always take your longwear cream shadow stick, put a little bit onto the eye, and then use your eyeshadow brush to blend. Totally up to you. They're really versatile. So it's all dependent on how you like to use them. I love these because they are very buildable, so you can continue to get more and more pigment if you layer them on, and they are long wear, so these will last 24 hours. They're crease-proof, they're smudge-proof, so once they're on, they're on. And I love that because I can put my eyeshadow on and then I don't have to think about it for the rest of the day. So I'm going to finish off my eye with another long wear cream shadow stick, and this is the shade called Cinnamon. So it's just a really nice warm terracotta brown and I actually have my smoky eyeliner brush. So for this, I'm going to put my brush right onto the eyeshadow and then you can take it and just blend that right into the lash line. So this will give me a little bit more depth and dimension, but it's still really soft because for this look, I don't want it to look like a heavy eyeliner. So I'm just going to blend that warm tone right into the other eyeshadow. And you can see how that even further warmed up the eye and gave me just a little bit more dimension. And now I'm going to complete my eye look with two coats of the Smoky Eye Mascara. So last but certainly not least, I'm going to finish off this peach look with the lip. So I've actually selected three of my favorite formulas here. 
And I'm going to start first with lining my lips, which I love to do because it creates a fuller looking lip and it also kind of roadmaps your lipstick. It's not as scary to put a little bit more of a pigmented lipstick on. So I have one of my hero shades. It's in the shade beige. I love this shade beige in the lip liner because you can see it really gave the illusion to make my lips look a lot fuller, but it's also very natural and it falls really nicely with our other peach tones for the lips. So for my lipstick today, I chose the Crush lip color. So here is our shade Cabana and you can see how pretty and complimentary that's going to be with the complete look. And I love this because it's a nice pop of coral and I think it will go so nicely with the cheek and the eye color. It gives nice moisture to the lips and it has incredible color payoff. Okay, so you can definitely stop there, but of course I wanna show you guys options. So I chose the Crushed Oil Infused Gloss and this is the shade Wild Card. So I wanna swatch that too so you can see. It's a nice sheer toned coral. So for you, if you're not into a brighter lipstick, you could do the lip liner just with the gloss or you can add it over the top just to give the lips a little bit more dimension, shine, and added moisture. So I'm actually going to place this just in the center of my lips to give a little bit of an extra pout. So here it is, my final peachy makeup look. I love this look because it really brightened up my complexion and I love a monochromatic story. And that's what you're getting with all these beautiful tones. So we can see from afar, the real hero of this look is my peachy makeup look. But I definitely love to wear peach with gold tones. So I have on gold jewelry and a little gold chain on this bag. Comment below with any questions or comments and make sure to hit subscribe so you never miss a video from this series. Check back next month as I'll be sharing tips on how to create an easy sheer complexion with some of Bobbi Brown's bestsellers.